Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Tom, I am an Open University student, and today I am talking about one of my modules that I did this year. Um, I've done a previous video on MST124. If you're interested, then the link will be up there. Um, but today is about TM255. And TM255 is Communications and Technology. It is about technologies and communication, basically. Um, over this video, I'm going to go over what how the yeah how the module is split down, um, what type of topics you cover, what type of assessments you're under, um, how I found the course in general, and any tips, if any, on what to do, basically. So to start off with, the module is split into three blocks. Each block gets its own book. Um, I'll go through the books in a second. Um, yeah, it's split down into three blocks. Each block has its own TMA and ICMA. Um, as this is a second year module, I presume you already know what a TMA and ICMA is. Um, just in case you didn't have ICMAs, you will have had TMAs before, but just in case you didn't have ICMAs, ICMA is an interactive computer math assessment. Um, you go onto the website and it has several questions, either multiple choice or, well, I think it was multiple choice for this module. Um, there's some others where you have to type in the answer yourself, but for this module I'm pretty sure it was multiple choice. Um, various different questions, multiple choice on the computer. You don't have to do it in one sitting. You don't go down, do a few questions, go off, leave it, whatever. And it's not like an exam thing. You feel free to go through your book when you're going through it. Pretty straightforward. Um, but yeah, each block has its own ICMA and TMA. Um, they are evenly split as of course the module is over the entire year with it all having three blocks um, I'm just going to double check once I found my mouse yeah the first ICMA and TMA is due in December the next is in February and the last is in May and there is also an EMA as there's no exam in this module um, there's an EMA so you do that at the end of well beginning of June and of May um yeah that's that so the first module is inquiring and communicating um it's split down into eight parts uh it is basically about communication in a whole the parts are storing data and finding information introduction to radio transmission wireless local area networks mobile communication networks mobile and location technology writing technology documents, Internet of Things, and 4G and beyond. So very mobile focused. You basically go over what radio waves are. You link that into wireless networks and then how that then works for mobile phones and basically how the mobile phone grid works, um, how you get internet on your phone, that sort of stuff. Very interesting, actually. Uh, a lot more interesting than I thought it was when I first looked at it, I must admit. Um, but yeah, very interesting. Um, not all eight parts are inside the book, and this goes for the other two books as well. There are some parts that are online only. Um, I believe for this one, I think there's five out of the eight is inside the book. Three are online. Um, for the others, it's quite evenly split, really. It's only like one or two, usually, that's on the internet. Um, by all means, go on the website, set up as a, as a full page, and then print it off. I don't think there's any reason why you have to do it on the on the internet itself. So that's that. You just have to access it through the internet. It's not inside the book. So if you're going away anywhere, just bear that in mind that you might need to print off additional parts. Um, yeah, that is pretty straightforward. It's a lot of it's just a lot of knowledge um, from what I gather from what I remember year one. You do a similar topics in TM11 and TM112 um, especially with like radio waves and stuff like that the TMA and ICMA pretty straightforward ICMA obviously multiple choice questions um, as long as you read through the book pretty much sorted TMA just answering questions again just go through the book most of the answers are in the book or on the parts online um, I think you do have to collect some outside knowledge for the internet but it was pretty straightforward block two no chunkier block 
interacting and collaborating. This one is a different part than what I've done in any other module as it's, it's all about collaborating as it says. Um, so in the book it's all about different teamworks, um, team roles, basically how a team works together um, and while you're doing that you will actually be put into groups with other students um, and you will work online together um, to create a super basic web page on WordPress. Um, for us we had to create like a hotel page. There's different different pages that you can create that are set out by the work and, and in your group you each pick a page. From what I remember there was five of us. So you just got you all got a, five, a page each. Um someone did like the home page and then I did like location and something else and very, very straightforward. Um but through that you have to do planning together, um do the work together obviously, make sure everyone does the work on time. I think we met up like twice a week online um, through the I forgot the software it's called again. You collaborate online through Adobe Connect. Sorry, I forgot what the software is called and I forgot in the last one as well. Adobe Connect is the same one, it's the same software that you use for tutorials, online tutorials. Um, as always, obviously this module has online tutorials as well. Um, just go on there and book yourself in. There's several throughout each block. Um, just yeah, most of them in the evenings, or they might be on one on the odd Saturday morning about ten o'clock. So depending on work schedules, private life schedules. Yeah, so but but two. Back onto that. Um, yeah, you work online. You work through Adobe Connect. You can chat on there. You can webcam and microphone and talk on there. Um, super super easy. There's also a big focus on the forum posts. Um, your group has its own forum and you have to go through and talk on that. You don't have to talk about everything on that. But that forum is how your tutor will be able to mark your work and your interaction with your peers. So basically, if you never go on there and you never say anything, then the tutors are going to mark you down, basically. But if you go on there, just talk to people, just plan stuff out, um, put on there what you've done. Um, that's The forum is how the your tutor will be able to mark you for your TMA is a big part of the TMA. It's a very straightforward block, super straightforward. Like I say, it's a super basic WordPress website um, that all honestly you could probably do by yourself in a day if less, but you've given like several weeks to plan it out. Um, yeah, but obviously that's because everyone has different work schedules. Um, it's so you can all make sure you have time basically. You start that straight away in December and you get your advice to get your plans down before December because of the Christmas break and they don't expect you to work on the Christmas break by all means do they don't expect you to and then it's just straight on it after Christmas and yeah super super straightforward blog again ICMA and TMA more it's more focused on this but um, obviously the TMA is for this block is a lot focused on the website that you make and your interaction with your group but there is other questions as well and the icma is more question based not based on teamwork but like i say super straightforward it was quite nice talking to people actually that do this module and that were doing it at the same time it's quite nice actually because obviously we open university you can feel a bit isolated sometimes because you don't really like talk to other people about it but that was nice but yeah, quite intimidating at times because you don't know what people are going to be like, but everyone was super nice, so yeah. Then finally, block three is protecting and praying. And um, this part has eight parts uh, the connected world, major cybersecurity incidents, identities and biometrics, surveillance and artificial intelligence, encryption, uh, practical experiments in cybersecurity writing longer documents and report, protecting and prying in the information society. Three of those are only available online. The other five are in there. Um, you may have noticed one was about writing essays. That is because the TMA and the EMA have big writing parts. Fairly straightforward what you have to do. It's just a big chunk of writing. So, um, and there's marks for your presentation and how you present the your essential essay. 
but yeah, not really much else I can really say about that. Like I say, it's focused on encryption and just identities and biometrics. Interesting, very interesting. Um, and again, fairly straightforward. Just give yourself plenty of time to read through your book. Um, start your TMA and ICMA early, especially block three, because obviously you've got your EMA. As soon as you get that done and out of the way, you can go straight on your EMA, which I think anyone would advise you to. But yeah, once that's done, get on EMA. EMA was, from what I remember, because it is July now and I did it in May. Um, set of questions, there's an essay. It's just like a TMA, just a bit bigger. Um, the OU always recommend that an EMA is like three TMAs into one. So whereas a TMA might you have like a week to two weeks, um, an EMA you it's anywhere between three to six weeks. They advise you to spend it on. Um, obviously, that depends on what your work and private life is. If you've only got a couple of days to work on it, give yourself more time. Get that block three done and out of the way as soon as possible. Um, and then you can just jump straight on the EMA and get it done. You will, you know, thank yourself later, um, especially if you've got other modules as well, because that's crunch time where you've got exams coming up, you've got EMAs coming up. But yeah. Apart from that, uh, I think that's everything. So thanks for watching. Like I say, I will be coming up with videos for my other two modules as well. And other than that, I will see you in a bit. Bye.